Got the truck pulled in this morning. Uh, the brakes are completely garbage in this all of a sudden. They are not wanting to stop. What I want to do today on this is a little bit of interior work. Move this out of the way. I want to pull the seat cover off and pull this headliner out. And I want to try to redo the headliner with the uh, factory board it's got up there. It should have. No, I guess it doesn't have it no more. We'll have to get the, the chrome out and put it on the ground and get a template made of it. Let's get the seat cover off and pull this headliner out and see what we're working with. Pull this side off first here. Look at my snip. Let's start cutting this stuff. It's been a long time. All right, we're gonna get this flag out of here next. I got the seat cover off. Not really sure what's holding it in. I think I just shoved it in here. Get it out of here. Oh. This flag's ripping. Oh man, I'm missing a piece back here. That sucks. Huh. That really does suck. Hopefully this way I put this up, but it might sag a little. Did that bulb gone? Yeah, it's just gone. All right, let's get the other side off. I'm in here pretty tight, so I gotta walk around this thing. Oh yeah, I'm also doing two videos right now. I'm trying to get this thing to start. This thing keeps backfiring really loud on me. Let's see if it does it again. No, it's not. I'm do it again. Earlier, it backfired so loud, it's like a freaking gunshot went off in here. Let's go to this side and get the rest of this flag out. Then we'll start pulling, pulling the uh, trim out so I can figure out what how big this stuff needs to be. What's that? Oh, never mind. There we go. She's all out of there. Let's start pulling this trim out. I went to a junkyard today, my neighbor's junkyard by my dad's house, and he had uh, three of these trucks, but they are rough, really rough. So he may have this piece back here, though. I'll have to go back and see. Let's go ahead and pull those out so we can see how thick all this stuff has to be, because I'm not sure if it goes under that or not. I'm thinking that it does. Got the flag hanging up right here for now because I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Figure something out to do with it. Let's start pulling this stuff out of here now. All right, I got this set down, but I'm actually going to have to move it. I'm going to move it to this side. Get it pushed all the way over. Come on. Let me get the starter on this side. This is actually where it needs to be.
All right, I got the piece cut. Kind of looks like it's gonna be slim in some spots, but I think it'll be okay. We're gonna get this on the table over there and start spraying some glue on it and get the fabric laid out. Before we get started on the headliner, I do wanna get some of this down the tank I bought yesterday. Thanks, pressure, big time. See down there. Maximizes horsepower. So this thing's gonna be a race truck by morning. Butt back in there. Ready to hit the track now. The fabric that I got came from Walmart. Oh, some crap off here. It's an $11 blanket right here. I think it's big enough. It should be. It matters what side. Just make sure we got both. Enough space on both sides is what I was trying to say. Stretched out here. I'll fold back one side. I've got this glue right here I bought. And I also have some other stuff. Let me go grab it that my dad got for me. I've got this stuff too. My dad does flooring, so I well, I get these a lot. I have a bunch of them. We're gonna try just using this and see how it does it. If it doesn't do very good, then we will break out this floor stuff. I just don't have much hope of the floor stuff for vinyl, not fabric. Get the lid off here. There we go. Flare sticky. Might throw some of this on here just, to, just in case. <laughs> this stuff doesn't work very good. Yep, I guess it ain't coming out. I'll try putting this on here, but I don't think it's. Very sticky. Yeah, it's sticking very good. That's nice. Actually, feels like it is. Let me take the other side on, <laughs> and then we'll spray. We'll just spray the crap out of the other side. Let me take it up some more, too. Some other floor stuff, let me grab 
My dad also gave me this stuff here. And this is some strong stuff. It's what a lot of the carpet in the van is glued on with. Look at that. She might be froze solid up in here. I don't know. She might have something in it. We'll see. Yeah, there she got some. Hope it doesn't eat through the, the fabric, but it shouldn't. It's like freaking... It looks like jelly or something. thing I'm gonna do is get it on me. Oh, I hope this works. stuff's way stronger. I'm going to pull this off and put some on this side. using this again. Try all the wrinkles out of here. Let's cut this excess off here. I'll just show you guys when I get done. This is gonna take me a while. All right, I'm gonna try to get this thing back up in here without it beating the crap out of me. It's probably gonna beat the crap out of me most likely. All right, I got the headliner in. It whooped me. It was hard putting this thing in here by myself. Uh, the junkyard by my dad's house may have this. He had three old Ford trucks. Uh, they're pretty much savage scavenged through, so I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see if it's got this or not. I got to get this truck out, put my van back in, and call it a night. Uh, this thing, these brakes, will probably do that. Uh, in this, maybe be in this video. If not, it'll be next video on this truck. It needs brakes bad. 
I was driving around the block earlier and it was terrible. And I was noticing on this bed that this one side is pretty rotted out pretty bad, but it is what it is. It's an old truck. Let me show you the rot. It starts off. It's got some rot back here in this corner, but all right here, I think it's bad there. It's got a big old hole in it. it. Is what it is. I could patch this if I wanted to. I'm sure they make patch panels for beds. But I probably will never fix it. I'll probably just leave it the way it is. It doesn't really bother me. It's just an old beat up truck. We may just, I don't know. I don't know, we may fix it later on. We'll just have to see. shuffle game we are about to start doing brakes on this big bad boy got everything inside the cab we're gonna do this side first then we're gonna knock out the driver's side hopefully have some brakes in this thing and we're gonna show you how bad these brakes actually were and how bad the rollers are so it's all pretty bad even the tires are bad the trucks even looks bad just kidding no girl i didn't mean that it's jack underneath the oil pan i'm gonna jack it up Jack stands are in this thing. Trip these wheels off here. Well, this side doesn't look as bad as the driver's side. Got both sides off. That rotor doesn't look that bad. The pads even have a little bit of life in them. But we got all new stuff, so we're gonna change it anyways. This side over here, by on the other hand, is grooved pretty bad in the rotor. We can see it. It's pretty terrible. And there ain't much pad left on this side. These things are definitely shot. They're due for a change. So we're gonna knock it out. We got new rubber lines as well. These things don't look too good either. I wish I'd keep working on it and get this done. All right. I get in here, holy crap. I'm not sure if my new caliper comes with bolts. I'm gonna look into that. So it doesn't, I'm gonna take all this off together. Where are all the bolts on these? Back in there. Where are they at here? 
Is that them? There's a bolt on this back side. I just, I just looked at the video because I wasn't too sure. Looks like you just take this bolt out and then the caliper will come off from this one bolt. Oh man, she's tight. Ooh, I need my impact. Let me grab my impact. That'll make her come off real nice. All right, I forgot to record, but I, guess I just got that bolt out, so this should come off here now. This piece right here should slide out, is why I was just watching the video. There it goes. But this sucks to get back in. And that should release the, the uh, caliper. Which I guess I don't need anything off of this. I just need these bearings out of here. Let's, I need to cut that line up here. I'm just going to cut this and get it all off. Let's cut this line. Okay. Now all this should come off here then. Come on. Couldn't have been that easy, huh? Nice. Been messing with this brake line for a little bit. I finally got the brake loose. Been fighting me, but it's coming off. There we go. She's definitely seen better days. She's rough. We're gonna grab the new stuff and start putting it together on the table over here. This box is uh, pretty messed up. So if I didn't get a damaged part. try to reuse these bearings and stuff because I don't want to spend all kinds of money on this truck but I do want to get it fixed what I've learned on these the best way of doing it flip it over get on the back side and hit it with this Not 
budget. alright, I don't see any damage. That's too bad. We're going to have to throw it back in this one. I need some grease. I don't know if I have any. Let me check to see if I got some grease. I don't have any grease, so I think I'm just going to reuse this grease. And don't judge me, you guys. I'm poor. I'm doing this on a budget. This grease doesn't look that bad. It's still got some yellow to it. It's not all black. It's just an old truck. I ain't gonna be driving it everywhere. I don't have any grease, otherwise I'd pack it with some new grease. But we'll just use this stuff. Just back in there. I need towels out here, you guys. I don't have anything to wipe my hands off with. We're gonna grab Plank here and we're gonna use him to set this thing back on. There we go. Just sat back on here. I'm gonna go stick it back on the truck and we'll put this bearing in last and I'll reuse the grease. Some more grease out of this. Let's go stick this back on here. I'm leaking out quite a bit of fluid over here, I've noticed. Let me grab some of this grease. This grease doesn't smell bad either. It looks like somebody recently put some grease on this. I could be wrong, I don't know. Okay. Stay on there. We use the same powder pen. If not, I have new ones. Stick this back on here. Trying to figure out the brake line and I guess caliper too. And I'm gonna try to get this off my hands, so I'll be right back. Alright, you guys, I got a new caliper here, and I got my son out here to help me. Brake pads out. It goes on this way. New, new clip and stuff, so I don't have to reuse the old one. I don't know where this went. Oh, great. What? I don't remember seeing that, so we ain't gonna put it on. I don't know how this goes either, to be honest. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> they paid that much attention when that one came out. I'm gonna look at the other side. Yeah, look at that side. Put 
the right size. Let me get the right size for trigger. Squeeze it. It's in all the way. No, it ain't either. All right, let me hit some more. Baby Yoda, you made that out of kind of outfit. Don't punch me again, or I'll punch you. All right, guys, I'm going to get the new brake line on, and then we'll go to the other side here shortly. Okay. And uh, get this thing done. All right, you guys, I got this all bucked up. Son's back behind me playing. He's having fun. But uh, oh, this side's done. We're going to go to the other side. I might record the other side. We're going to knock it out, and then we're going to bleed these, and then it should be done, hopefully. It needs shocks. I don't want to say I'll have to get shocks here soon. All right, you guys, I just had to cut the brake line off uh, and take it off the junction block, or whatever you call it, because this is stripped. It looks like it's in there sideways, to be honest, but it's not too big of a piece. I'm going to go to the store, get some of that bendable stuff, and we'll just redo this line. We're going to get the rest of this off. I decided I am going to record this just to make this video a little bit longer for you guys that actually want to watch. Man, I just hit my arm on that freaking heater. Ow! Anyways, let's get this off here. Some people like time lapses and some people don't. They'd rather be they'd rather watch me work on this stuff than to do time lapses. I'm fine with either. Looks like somebody's been in the well maybe not. These rollers are really bad. Rollers really bad actually. I'm already dirty, so I don't know what I'm gonna say, but I'll try not to get dirty. Before I take that all the way off, I need to get this caliper off here. Because it is ready to come off. I don't know about you guys, but this is probably one of the worst rollers I've seen. I've seen a lot of rollers in my day, but. This one's pretty bad. On the grooves, anyways. There we go. What was that? Looks like something was loose. Maybe it's just the drum. The rubber drum out. Get this off here. Brake pad. I wonder what. I guess it was stuck to it. Hey, look at the brake pads. That line right there. Something was definitely going on inside of here. Let's go take this on the table and we'll swap out this thing like we did the other one. All right, let me clean up this mess a little bit here. These are cool, so I need to take these back. I'll get this line off here too here in a minute. Garbage. This is garbage. But I'll throw these two out in the alley here. But look at the back side of this too, man. That is bad. Look at this comparison to the driver's to the passenger. How flat this one is, and look at that one. It's crazy. Definitely shot, that's for sure. Put this over. Let me grab the new rover for this side. Let's cut this bad boy open. Eek.
from the same method we did earlier. Really can get this off from the side. Aren't you off? Nice. doesn't have as much grease. It's alright, the driver's one still has a bunch. Today's Friday, so Christmas is Monday. I don't know what time I'm going to post this video, if it's before Christmas. Hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. If it's after Christmas, hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. I'm going to get this grease off my finger. Poor house rag. It's never going to be in the house again. I meant it's fade out here today. Let's pound plank back into place. Alright, she's ready to go back on. Get this grease out of here. Put this on the uh, what do you call it? I don't know what it's called. Right. So just put me back on here. There we go. Put this back on. bolted on the brakes put in and then we'll have to get a line here a little bit i uh, may price shocks i don't know may not mess with them yet made a mess in here i know that for sure and i was looking online you guys to how to lower this uh from what i can see the kit is these arms right here and they are 800 bucks i could cut springs i don't know how crappy that make it ride I'm going to have to look more into it because I definitely want to lower this thing. I just don't want to get overboard in prices and stuff like that. This truck's a pretty solid truck, man. <laughs> got distracted there. But we got to figure out a way to lower this. I definitely want to lower it. Well, this is. Alright, let's go get the caliper and brake pads. Alright, got the new caliper here. Got the hardware, got the pads. This is the way I was taught how to do this whenever I was growing up. I don't know how you guys were taught, probably exactly the same way. There's not too many ways you can do this. Let me get this down a little. I want the wrench though, because it makes it easy. You just stick it inside the caliper and you just ratchet it and it, it pushes, it expands the caliper. That's what I really want to go find. It's on eBay. I just haven't bought it yet, I don't know why. Because I keep thinking, oh, I might not do brakes anytime soon, and then I do brakes. So it's, it's nice. You guys probably can't even see me in the camera, can you? Just do it right here. There he goes. Now, that was nice. Thanks for that. Should go in. Really, come on. It's too good for your home.
get in there. There we go. Thank you. All right. This one didn't come with a new, uh, a new one of these, like the other side did. Something in that bag. I'm gonna go look in the box and make sure it's not in the box. Well, it's not in the box, but we're just gonna continue and use the old one. I don't have time to go back to AutoZone right now and try to get new stuff. I am gonna have to go up here in a little bit, return these core calipers and get and get the uh, brake line that I need. Looks awfully tight in there. This fits. Where's my hammer? Oh, I'm tired of getting up. <laughs> Please help me. All right, got my hammer. Ow, I hit myself. This doesn't look like it's gonna fit. Maybe it will, I don't know. It just looks tight to me. That's how it rolls in now. No. Here we If you guys know what this clip is for, please tell me in the comments because I don't see where that would go. Oh hell, that is the banjo bolt. It didn't come with a bolt either. What the heck? That's the banjo bolt. It's got the hole in it for the fluid to come through. Nice. So the passenger side came with all new hardware. As the driver's side, your SOL, I'm gonna use the old bolts, wherever that is. I don't know. I don't see the old bolt. I don't know what I do with it. It's hiding the plain side of nowhere. Clip. There it is, right beside me. Light was blind to me, so I couldn't see it. Stick this back on. I guess we're gonna clean it up and then go back to AutoZone. Start this at least. The, the uh, brake hose line. That way it's on here and I don't lose anything. So we get this started here. I believe it goes this way. Alright, that's all I'm going to do for now. I'm going to get all these tools picked up. Get this light out of the way. It's a big glare. We got all these tools picked up. Besides the brake lines that I use for the uh, that. And then we got bleed the brakes. And then this beast is done in the front anyways. I think the guy told me the back had been done. So the front obviously is more expensive. So the front just got skipped. This brakes in this truck have gotten terrible. So hopefully this fixes it. Alright, I got the new brake line. I'm going to start trying to feed it through. Get the brake line fixed. This brake line is a lot longer than the other one. So, figure something out here.
There we go. Let's lay up underneath here and try to get this other one sorted. All right, it goes into that hole there in that block. So we're gonna loop this. Try to think the best route here. Do a little bit of loop-de-loop -loop action there because I bought too much of the line. I don't want to have to cut it. Because when you can buy this stuff pre-cut, it makes your life so much easier. And when it's also flared and this bendable stuff, highly recommend it. Makes stuff easy. Make sure this is in there right so I ain't stripping it. There we go. Let's go to the other side and tighten the top half. Back on top here, we're gonna get some fluid in this. I'm gonna have my wife come out here and help me bleed these brakes. Cause I don't have anybody to help me right now. I could have my dad come over, my brother. Or we're just gonna, I'm just having my wife do it. Start there for now. I'm about out of time tonight. Uh, I got the... I got all the wrenches set up by the calipers and the drums in the back. I'm going to bleed the all the way around. I'm going to get something to eat. We may come back at it later tonight. We may not. My wife's going to help me bleed these, and she doesn't like being on the camera, so I'll, I'll just do that on my own time, and then I'll show you guys later when I drop it back on the ground. I want to get the van back in there tonight if I could, but if not, ain't no big deal. What I also want to do is get the floor paneling out of this truck and see how bad the floor pans are so I know what to buy. Um, I think I need whole new pans for both sides because I'm looking underneath. I can see a lot of rust, but no big deal. We'll get it. We'll fix it. Uh, I already ordered the bedside patch panels. That'll probably be the next video on this truck. But anyways, I'll see you guys here in a couple of hours, maybe a day or so. Uh, I want to get this uploaded before Christmas. I'd like to anyways. Stuff enough, enough rambling. I'm going to go in the house, get something to eat, and we'll be back out here probably tonight, maybe tomorrow. We'll just have to see. We'll see what happens. See what throws, see what the night throws at us. If I can learn how to talk. All right, my wife just helped me bleed these brakes. It's a little bit later in the afternoon, nighttime now. But she just helped me bleed these. I'm trying to get the glare off here. We're gonna throw throw the wheels back on and test the brakes out and get the van back in here for the night. And then tomorrow I'll rip out that floorboard of the insulation and the floor mats to see how bad the floor pans actually are. So I know what so I know what I need to buy. I'm assuming it's going to need the full patch panels. I thought about just patching the rust hole. But from underneath, it looks like there's multiple spots that are rotted out. So we'll probably have to do the whole panel, which is no big deal. It's going to take some time. It all Everything always does, but we'll get it done. Put those wheels back on, and hopefully this thing has some brakes. All right, we got the driver's side on. Extra banjo bolt. Sitting there and keep this wheel on. Ugh. Enough, huh? I think the keys are still in it. I'm not really sure, to be honest.
I guess I'll bring you guys inside the truck with me. All right, I got to get my little handheld tripod. Let's see if she wants to fire her up. Well, I know it's her start, but let's see if she's got brakes. I hope she's got brakes. Let's, let's see her. Let's test her out here. Oh, maybe I should let her warm up a little more. Yeah, she's warming up. Let's see if she warms up. This thing got some. Give it gas. The whole truck moves. Got some torque. Still, I may need to bleed them a little more. Maybe we'll bleed them one more time and then we'll see about if she'll actually want to stay. See if she wants to stop. I had my wife come back out here and help me bleed these brakes again. Uh, I'm thinking it's the same thing the van has wrong with it. The master cylinder is out. Because this thing should have some brakes. And I'm looking at it on the back of the, the master cylinder and the brake booster. It's wet down there and I'll show you in a second. I did spill some, but I don't, I don't think I spilled it back there. And this truck has been a little wet back there since I got it. And the van, when the mass shoulder went out and it, I had no brakes at all. Nothing. Um, so I'm thinking that's what it is. And these things are, they're pretty cheap, mass cylinders are. So, I'm going to get that. I'm pretty sure I bench bled my master cylinder. I can't remember if I did or not. Maybe I didn't. I don't remember. I think I might have just pumped. Eh. I don't remember what I did. Anyways, I'm going to pull these bolts out and see if the inside of this uh, brake booster is wet. And that'll tell me if it's bad or not. So let's see what it looks like. I'm going to pull the truck back up first. First thing. So uh, if it, I can actually just have it sit here overnight. I wanted to get the van back in here. Because the van's nicer than the truck in my eyes. I like my van a lot more right now anyways. And I have a lot of money invested in that thing. So I wanted to cab it inside the garage. But it is what it is. Pull this thing back up. And we're going to pull that master cylinder off. yippee ki yay yippee ki yo See, it's wet back there. You see that, guys? It's pretty wet. Look at this light. This light right there. Maybe over here. I don't know where to put it. I'm trying to get it where you guys can see the best. Uh, it looks maybe like a 14, 15. So let's see if I can figure out that size. Got my assortment of wrenches here. It's a 5 8 too big. I'm not good at guessing sizes on anything. I'm one of the people that just grab a wrench and see how many it takes me to guess the right size. That's a little loose. It's a 15. I already have that one. I already have this one too. Great, so it's one of these that I have. Nope, obviously it was too small. Is there a 14 in here? 13. Of course, I got a 15, 14, or a 15 and a 13, no 14. It's a 14, so let's get my impact up in here. Oh, 
hope this leaks for my sake. I don't know what else to do. I blew the brakes three times. They got plenty of fluid coming out of them. So far, I don't see anything coming out. It's definitely wet in there. Let you guys be the judge of that. Does it look wet in there to you? Doesn't mean. All right, you guys, I'm gonna order a mask shown tomorrow. It's definitely leaking in there and it's not supposed to be. Um, so we're gonna get a mask shown from AutoZone tomorrow and get this thing fixed. The vans have to stay out tonight, unfortunately. I don't like staying, leaving that out at all because this thing's still a project. So uh, hopefully we'll get that done in the morning. This video is probably gonna be really long, but I'll catch you guys in the morning. Don't mind this mattress. I gotta get rid of it still. Uh, we've been waiting a long time to get a nice mattress. You guys know how it is. Mattresses are very expensive. And I have kids, so there's milk stains and stuff on it. I know. It's nasty to see a mattress in a garage in the background. Don't judge me. I'm trying to get rid of it. The mattress I have now is really nice. Really nice. I, I did myself. I got something nice for myself for once. Uh, I just got to get rid of this one. I don't know what to do with it. I guess I'll take it to the dump. But... I will see you guys in the morning, and hopefully we'll have a mass cylinder and get this truck out of my garage. I'll go ahead and start getting these lines off for the new master cylinder. I'm trying to catch all my fluid, but you know how that goes. I'm going to resituate you guys so I can actually get up in here. All right, here we go. Let's stick this back on. What? Nothing? Really? I figured some fluid would come out of there. There's some coming out. What the heck? You just stay. Thank you. Come on, girl. Work with you. I'm trying to fix you up. That's crazy because there is fluid in this thing. I'm about to take this cap off because I know there's fluid in here. Maybe there's not. I don't know. It had something in here, I know that. Yeah, this mass cylinder is bad, I think. I'm, I'm, I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure that stuff's supposed to like come pouring out, isn't it? You guys tell me in the comments. I could be an idiot. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to have fluid come out of it. And it definitely does not. It's dripping some, but I need to get it off here. I don't know how I'm gonna get this out. I don't have a vacuum pump or any kind of pump. Uh, I guess I can stick the, oh, I know what I can do. Give me one second here. The new kit came with these, so I'm gonna plug them. I'm just going to stick the lid back on and throw this thing out in the alley. Where my trash? Where'd the lid go? Oh, right in front of my face. It's a snake that would have bit me. And 
then you got to give this thing the toughest oomph you got to it. These things suck sometimes. Ugh, there we go. Pull this puppy off here. And let's get rid of it. I'm going to take this fluid out of this, you guys. I ain't no animal here. I ain't trying to have this stuff out in my alley or nothing or in the trash can because it does be a mess. These are my snap ring pliers. These things are complete garbage. Every time I do something, they bend. I don't know if I'm using them wrong, but they are junk. They're for sure junk. I don't have a screwdriver over here, so we're going to use this. Still my outline right here. How convenient. See if I can do this without spilling anything. I'll probably spill everything. Now, what I wanted to test out was if I could push this in or not. So, let's see if I can push this. Let me grab this extension. She goes a little bit. Oh, that's about as far as she goes. So I think this thing was definitely bad. Ugh. Ugh. Oh my God, she had to be bad, you guys. That should be doing something. Let me grab this one. This, we ain't bled this one yet, so let's see. Oh yeah, she goes way further down. It's easier too, that thing's. Mm. They're both tight, but that thing just does not feel right. It feels like it's fighting me a lot. This one. I can do that with it. Oh, I kind of feel stupid now. No, that was definitely better. That, that thing feels like it's fighting me big time. All right. Let's get this mass shelter out of the way. Throw it away. Do something with it. Precaution, take these out because I need these when we bleed this. And these came with it also. I'm gonna stick these in here. There's the other one. What the heck? That doesn't fit in there. This one has a big fitting on it. I don't know why. It's made like that. I don't know. Those don't stay in, so that's nice. I'll throw her right in the trash with all my other garbage. I'm gonna stick this vice. Or stick the vice. Yeah, I'm gonna stick this vice in here. That's what, that's what I meant to say. I'm gonna stick this mask cylinder here, so maybe we can get it off a little better. I don't know. We'll try, anyways. I'll do it this way. Yeah, I'll do it this way. There we go. I'm gonna spray that out in there. Nice and clean now. I never just play the rotors with this stuff. My brother and I just got the mass cylinder on and we bled it up here, just like the Vice Strip Garage would do. Well, he holds it on each finger and I pump it slowly and let off. Now we're messing with the back and trying to get it adjusted out right because these drums aren't grabbing either. She's still stopping about as good as she was yesterday, so we got some work to do. Well, my brother just left. Uh, this truck ain't coming out tonight. Go we'll figure. Um, we was messing with the passenger rear on the brakes, on the drums. We ran those up a little bit. I hate when my hair does that. But... The passenger or the driver's side rear, the uh, drums are blown out. The hard, it's not blown out. The hardware just fell apart inside. So we have to get, I'm gonna go get a new hardware kit tomorrow on Christmas Eve. So hopefully I can find a store that's open. I think they'll be open. I don't know if not. It is what it is. I I think it's because I want this truck out that it's not ever gonna come out. I think it's stuck in here for good now. 
The brakes are still kind of bad. I may need to bleed them some more. I may actually open the open all the brakes tonight and let them uh, gravity bleed. I probably will do that, honestly. And uh, I will catch you guys tomorrow morning. This video is going to be extremely long. You guys might like that. I don't know. Yeah, we'll just have to see. Get a hard work hit tomorrow, and I'll see you guys in the morning, hopefully. Back at it this morning. Uh, hardware store is open. Uh, it's actually pretty late in the morning. It's like 10 o'clock. But I want to pull this floorboard stuff out of this truck first, and then we'll go mess with the drums. Because I don't know if I'm going to record all that on the drums. I'm tired of messing with the brakes on this thing. It's gotten into a more than what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be just front, now to the back. I want to get the stuff pulled out in the uh, floorboards to see what I need to order for the pans. And see how bad they actually are. So let's get started on that. All right, let's pull these floorboards floor mats out. I'm gonna throw these in the bed. that oh this side's got some holes in it I can already see it this truck's already starting to pay me look at that got money everywhere All right, this side definitely has a little bit more speed holes in it. It's got quite a few, actually. Just one there, some over there. That side isn't as bad, but I can't. I gotta get all that uh, stuffing that's on the floorboard stuck to it. I get all that off. I'm gonna get my shop vac and we're a screwdriver and we're a scrape and the suck as much of the stuff off the floor as we can. A penny. Blend in with all that rust. All right, let's get the shop vac over here. All right, I got the vacuum up in here. Let's get some of this stuff off the floor, hopefully. Well, I thought I was recording this side. I didn't. It's not as bad as the driver passenger, but there is holes up in the front and the side over there. Definitely have to do some uh, work. I thought I was gonna be able to patch this stuff. There's no way we're just gonna cut it out and patch it with a big patch panel, floor pan, that's what I'm trying to say, and hopefully get this stuff fixed. And if the pan doesn't go up as high as these holes, then we'll figure that out. We'll cut more up and do another patch, more metal. We'll figure it out though. Or I could buy uh, just a one big floor pan and do it all, seam seal it in and stuff like that. That's a lot of work. I am just wanna do a little work, so we're gonna do floor pans. I'm gonna go run up to the auto parts store and get the hardware kit for the rear drum and hopefully get this thing out of my garage today. It's Christmas Eve, I'm running out of time. I want my van back in here for the third day now. So it's sitting outside. Oh, I could put this outside, but I want the brakes fixed before it goes out. That, I'm sure you guys understand that. Let's go with the wide parts store and go get some parts. It's been a chaotic day, you guys. Uh, we didn't record earlier. 
And I'll tell you what we had to do in the truck. We had to replace the brake booster because it had fluid built up in it so bad. And it, we bled the brakes so many times, went through all the brakes. Uh, that we figured it just bait, ruled it out to be the booster, replaced it. Brakes are working fantastic now. It's Christmas Eve. This video, I don't know. I'm going to try to get it uploaded tonight. I don't know. I guess we'll see if it's uploaded or not. I'm going to try to edit it. I'm going to go inside here a little bit. I want to get the van out or the truck out, get the van in, and call it a night. Uh, I want to show you guys what we did first, just show you what it looks like. Um, I think that's it. I'll just let's show you on this truck real quick what we did. It's got a new master cylinder, new brake booster, new front brakes all the way, well, new discs, new, uh, I say disc, new rotors, new pads, new calipers, new rubber lines, because even if the rubber lines are good on the outside, they, like, they can still de deteriorate from the inside. So went ahead and got them. The back, so they got new lines, new cylinders, new drums, new hardware, new uh, shoes. That's all new. So everything on this truck, brake-wise, is new besides a couple of brake lines. Uh, I need to get all these tools off this thing. We'll pull it out, get the van in, and we'll close this video out. I swear this truck does not want to leave my garage. I try to start it and it's dead. Don't know how it died. I pulled it in earlier and it's dead now. The van's out there running. I went out there and started it so it could warm up. Oh, this truck just does not want to leave, you guys. Thank you guys for watching this week. Uh, it's been a long video, I know. I'm trying to sing up photos tonight or tomorrow. Tomorrow's Christmas. Uh, thank you for you guys that have watched this far in this video and has actually took the time to watch my stuff. I appreciate it. I'm closing in on 500 subscribers, and I wanted to thank you guys. Uh, again, I just can't thank you guys enough. It makes me happy. You'll see me growing slowly. Uh, just keep coming back, guys. The truck's definitely going to be on the channel for a while. I love the thing. We're going to be doing floor pans, bedside repairs, uh, door panels, bed cover, seat cover, bed mounts. All, there's all kinds of stuff that truck. It's going to be on this channel for a long time. It's going to be my build for a while, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. Keep coming back to me, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a very Merry Christmas. Hope you guys had a wonderful time with your families. And uh, just hope everybody's okay and everybody had a good holiday. Thank you guys for watching again. Peace out. See you in the next video.